Traditional methods of measuring fecal indicator bacteria can tell you whether bacteria found in beach water may have come from feces. So the IDEX method works by taking a water sample, mixing it with growth media, and putting it in a compartmentalized tray. The tray is then incubated overnight, and you can tell how many bacteria are there by how many of the wells turn color or fluoresce. In contrast, the membrane filtration method catches the bacteria on a small filter. The filter is then put on growth media overnight, and you count how many colonies have grown. When using molecular methods, we're actually looking for genetic markers of the bacteria rather than trying to grow them. And so in this case, we filter the bacteria in the same manner, but then we freeze that filter for later analysis. When pathogens from human sewage are present, fecal bacteria will also be found. The problem is that these fecal bacteria can also be found when there are no pathogens and the source of the bacteria is not human sewage. For this, we need methods that can identify the sources of contamination.